These are all the PLL algorithms I use and how I recognize them. This isn't really a PLL tutorial. I will be having the algorithms on screen probably up here as I'm doing them, but it's not really a tutorial of like how to do them. I'm not gonna be going in depth into all the algorithms, but this is more of just how I recognize the PLLs and see which one to do. So we're starting off with the A perms. A lot of people will recognize them by like the headlights and this block here. Personally, I just use this two by two block here and these colors are the same. If you're holding it at this angle and the color here is opposite the color here, it's an AA perm. And if the color here is opposite to the color on the left side, then it's an AB perm. This is the E perm. Uh, I recognize it by all the edges being solved and you don't really have a block anywhere. There's no like matching colors. It's easy to get it confused which orientation you're doing it in and do it wrong like this and then have the PLL not solved. But the way you can find out the right orientation is if this color in the front is the same as this color here. So red and red, those match and orange and orange, those match. So for example, if you do it from here, green and blue, that's wrong, but red and red, orange and orange, and it matches. And then you can do it from that orientation. This is the F perm. This is the only case where you'll have this one by three bar solved and nothing else here is even matching up. So pretty much this is the only like solved part of the layer, like even if it's turned like this, but these three are the only matching ones. And then you put on the left, at least the way that I do it. These are the 4G perms, and yeah, they're probably some of the worst PLLs, uh, especially to recognize. But basically, you'll have headlights here and nothing else except for two pieces matching up. So over here in this G perm, there's headlights and then these two pieces matching up. And the matching pieces can either be here, 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 or here. And that'll decide whether you have a GA perm, GB perm, GC perm, or GD perm. And that's how you recognize which algorithm you have to do. And this is the H perm. This one's like on the opposite end of the spectrum of the G perms. This one's super easy to recognize. It's just all the corners are solved and the edge color is always the opposite of the corner color. So red is opposite orange, blue is opposite green and so on. Super easy to recognize. So these are the J perms. Um, like the F perm, you'll have a one by three bar of pieces, but you'll also have one solved here and you'll have two like blocks of pieces that need to be switched. These two should be here and these two should be here. Basically, there's just a bunch of blocks like around the cube, like here, here, this one, this one. And this JA perm, the blocks will be here and here. This solved piece that's matching with the 1x3 bar will be on the right if you're looking at it from this at the front. And over here, the matching color will be at the left. I personally recognize it by if I'm holding it with this at the left, then these two stickers are on the right, and then... On the JA perm, if you hold it like that, there will only be one piece here. So the JB perm, I think this is my favorite PLL. These are the N perms. Um, kind of easy to recognize. You just have two by one blocks around the cube and it's pretty much only opposite colors. So green opposite blue on this side, red opposite orange on this side, blue opposite green and so on. And holding the cube from any given angle, the block here will either be on the right as it is on this one or the left as it is in this one like whichever way you hold it this block will always be on the left two pieces of the side if that makes sense if it's on the right it's the na perm and if it's on the left it's the nb perm these are the r perms You'll have headlights here and nothing else except for this edge piece, which is matching with one of the headlight colors and this one, which seems like it needs to be switched with 
the edge in the middle of the headlights. So for example, red should be over here, green should be over here. And in this case, the only difference is that the pieces matching will be on the left, and the piece that needs to be kind of swapped with this one is on the right. So pretty much the algs that I use for these two cases are mirrors of each other. And the first move will be on the side of the non-matching color, if that makes sense. So this is the R8 perm, and I'm going to start it on the left. And this is the RB perm, which starts on the right. And it's just a mirror of the RA perm for the algo that I use. This is the T perm, one of the easiest cases, and I think one of the first ones you learn when you're learning PLL. But you'll have headlights here, and like the R perm, you'll have matching pieces here, but they'll be on both sides. So that's how you differentiate this from an R perm. And you just hold it on the left for the algo that I use, and I think most everyone uses. These are the U perms. Um, like the H perm, you'll have all the corners solved. So you have headlights everywhere around the cube. But the only difference between this and the H perm is, first of all, that, that not all the edge colors are opposite their corner colors. But there's also a bar here, so like a solved edge in the middle of these making it a three by one bar. And the way you can differentiate between the UA perm and the UB perm is that on the UA perm, there will be one edge color opposite the corner color, and it will be on the right when you're holding it with the solved pieces on the back. And on the UB perm, that will be on the left. This is the V perm. It's super similar to the A perm and can sometimes be mistaken for the Y perm actually. But the reason I say it's similar to the A perm is because there's this two by two block here um, in this corner and nothing really else matched up. Just the thing separating this from the A perm is that on the sides of this block, these corner pieces aren't the same color. In fact, they're the opposite colors of the faces they're on. So green, opposite blue, orange, opposite red, and obviously orange and green aren't the same color. So I hold it like this. The Y perm is another super easy to recognize one. I recognize it by this singular corner piece that seems to be out of place, while the whole rest of these two sides are solved, and blue is opposite green, red is opposite orange. There's just one standalone corner pretty much with opposite colors to the rest of its side. And then there's like other pieces unsolved over here, but this is the way I recognize it usually. And the Z perm, another super easy to recognize one. It's like the H perm where you have headlights all over the cube, all the corners are solved, and there's no bars anywhere, but this piece won't be opposite to this piece. In fact, it'll be like these two have to switch, like you'll see if you're holding it from this angle, then orange has to switch with green. So this orange edge piece, and then I hold it from the pieces that need to switch will be on the front and right. And then you just do this. So those were all the PLL algorithms, how I recognize them, and also the algorithms up here. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more cubing content like this, and I'll see you in my next video.